We went through a lot last week and we, we talked about, you know, creating that new you and operating from that point. And so I wanted to start off there a little bit before we go into today's content is, you know, last week we, we really talked about you have these two versions of you at any one time. You have the old you and, and then you have the new you. And so you have these two, these two parts of you that are kind of battling the old you and your old ways of being and your old friends and your old emotions and your old thinking and your old identity that created your old life. And then you have the new you that's going to create all the, the new stuff and all the new relationships and it's attached to new emotions. And so that's all the new. And you're, you're constantly in this, you can see the old, but you must be in the emotion and the thinking of the new. Does that make sense? You don't see the new for a really long time. In fact, you still see the old for quite a while. <laughs> And uh, that can sometimes be a little bit challenging that we have to keep on believing in, in who we are and acting in this news. So that, that's what I really wanted to cover from last week is, is that you must operate from this new way of being. Type in the yes if you get that. You must be in a new way of being, a new you. You must be, must be here. You operate and act there first. And here's a real key distinction, okay? This is important. The, the old way that we used to do things is we would say, I want to go do that. So I'm going to work on my mindset. I'm going to read some books. I'm going to figure out the strategy and then I'm going to start. The new way of doing it is you've got to go, I am this person. I'm going to start. And as I start taking the action, that's when I'm going to read books and work on my mindset. The action and the doing and the being happens before you do the inner work and the strategy and everything else. Does everyone see the distinction? Does everyone see the distinction? It's a big distinction because it makes all the difference. Because see, the old way of staying in the old identity, trying to plan to move forward, just keeps you stuck. So you've got to get out there, start moving, being the new you, and then shifting and changing as you get there. And so... So every day, I want you to be asking this question, which is, what would the person I'm becoming do right now? What would the person I'm becoming do right now? That's what's crucial. Because if you always ask that question, what would the person I'm becoming do right now? Guess what you're going to do? What that person would do. And so I really want you to just type that in so that you remember it. Write it down. What would the person I'm becoming do right now? What would they do? Because that is you calling in your future, but then acting as they would act. Does this make sense? It's not... Fake it until you make it. It's just be it, then you will see it. Does that make sense? What would the person I'm becoming do right now? And so it's very important. Today, I didn't want to spend too much on theory. I spent a lot of time on theory last week. Today, I want to do an exercise. So I want to let you know you need a pen and paper or a Word document or the notes on your phone to do this, okay? We're going to do magnetic alignment together today. Nice. We're going to do it together today. Okay, it's going to be fun to do it with me. So to do it, we need to have and write down from one to seven, from one to seven down on a piece of paper like that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Type in a yes when you've got your piece of paper and you've written vertically one through seven.
Awesome. So now next to number two, I want you to write current. Spell check person, lol. I'm not sure what that means. Did I write something wrong? I haven't written anything in. Oh, I see. You, all good, okay. Oh, I see, yeah. So next to number one, I want you to write past. Next to number two, I want you to write current. Next to number three, I want you to write first step. Next to number four, I want you to write second step. Next to number five, I want you to write uh, desired goal. Next to number six, I want you to write future one. And next to number seven, I want you to write legacy. So it should look like, I'll just write mine up. It should look like this. So you start up with one that says past, two that says current, three says step one, four says step two, five says desired, six says future, and seven says legacy. Awesome. Now, if you've ever wanted to, to just have something in, in your brain that always tells you what you're doing next, what you're doing next, what you're doing next. If you want to really for sure have that unconsciously built into your mind so that you always know where you're going, this process will be for you. When I first learned this process, it was doing a walking meditation on the beach in 2013. My mentor at the time had a $20 million business and I was like, wow, cool. He said, this is what you got to do. And he showed me this process and it's something that I do most mornings. I go into my mind, I plan out my steps and what I'm going to do. And there's many variations that you'll see of this process through the different meditations, but it's a very, very cool one. Let me just uh, check everyone out there on our Facebook land. Hey, David, I can see you over there. Awesome. Did you guys all catch up? Hey, brother, good to see you. Cool, we've got David over there as well. Awesome, awesome. If you want to jump on the Zoom link, you, you are most welcome. All right, so let's just plan these out. Okay, so the first one, let's go to number five. Go to number five. What is your desired outcome right now? Like, what are you focused on? And I want you just to go ahead and I want you to write that in. So maybe you write in, you know, uh, 10 paying clients, quit my job, uh, full time in my business, 100 grand, 500 grand, a million, whatever it is, write that in. Nice. Maybe you want to type it in so I know I don't go too fast. Cool. So write in your desired goal. Okay, beautiful. So let's quickly just, uh, let's quickly just check in with how that goal would feel and what you would believe. So close your eyes for a second. And I want you just to step into that goal. I want you to step into a reality that you have it. Mm. Ask yourself, how does it feel? How does it feel to have achieved this goal? What do you believe about life now that you've achieved this goal? Open your eyes when you have those answers and write them down. Write them down what you believe and how you feel. 
I saw a few of us just joining. We're doing magnetic alignment. So quickly uh, create uh, seven down the vertical like this. Um, you'll see past, current, step one, step two, desired, future, and future one. So you'll quickly be able to catch up. I saw a couple of you just jump in here late. This is what you want lined up. We've just done the desired step. Awesome. So write in how you felt and what you believe. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you should have next to number five, a goal, a belief, and a feeling. Everyone got that? Type in a yes if you have that so I know that I'm going at a good speed. If not, I'll just keep waiting. Type in a yes if you've got it. How you guys doing? Type in a yes if you've got it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Five of you all at once. Beautiful. Okay. So now let's go to number two, current reality. Okay. So compared to that, where are you now? Compared to that, where are you now? So just write in the straight up goal. Compared to that, where are you now? Awesome. So now let's feel into where you are now. So go ahead and close your eyes. Step into your current reality, where you are now compared to your goal. How does it feel to be in your current reality? Get present with yourself for a second. How does it feel? And what do you believe about this current reality? So, so open your eyes and write those down. Open your eyes and write those down. Write down how you feel. And write down what you believe. Type in a yes when you've done number two. Awesome, great, good job. Okay, so now we're going to work out your past. So where were you one step before now? What was life like one step before now? So type it in. Write it down next to one. Where were you one step before now? So let's go in and experience what life was like back then. It might allow you to feel pretty grateful about where you are at in life right now. So you're all ready? One step back in the past. A step can be a year, two years, five, two months. Just the step before the step. So close your eyes. And go back to one step in the past. What's it like? How 
How's it feel? And what's your belief? What do you believe back here? Open your eyes when you've got it, write them down. So your past, write down your feeling and your belief. And type in a yes when you've done number one, two, and five. Awesome. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Wait for a couple more yeses. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to create the steps, all right? And it takes a little bit to get these planned out, but then once we do the process, it's all worth it. So this time, I'm going to have you to go into your desired goal, look back at your current, and ask what the next step is, okay? So close your eyes. Step into that desired goal, making the money, having the clients, living with freedom, doing what it is you want to do full-time in your business. Look at that goal. Feel it. Look back at the current reality. Look back at the current reality and ask yourself, what is the obvious first step that you had to take? When you've got it, open your eyes, write it down. When you've got it, open your eyes, write it down. Let me know when you've written down the first step that you must take. Type an yes when you've written down the first step that you must take. Nice. Cool, I'm waiting for a couple more yeses and then we'll get on to the next one. You should have number one, two, three and five done. Give me a yes when you're done. <laughs> Michelle's definitely done. <laughs> How you guys doing? Type in a yes. I've only got yes from only about a third of you. So just give me a yes so I'm not no I'm not going to go too fast. Otherwise, are we sitting and waiting? There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to find the second step. All right, everybody ready? So go, what we're going to do to do this is we're going to go into your desired goal again, but this time we're going to look back at achieving that first step and then ask what the next step is, okay? Cool. So close your eyes and step into your desired goal. Feel it. Be it. Notice how good it feels to have that. Choose it. Look back to your current reality. Look at the first step. And then ask, what's the next step? Between the first step and now and here. What's the second big step that had to happen that would get you to here? When you've got it, open your eyes and write it in at step number two.
So now you should have one, two, three, four, and five completed. Awesome. Who's done one, two, three, four, and five has got the past, the current, the first step, the second step, and the desired role or desired result. Who's got all of those? Give me a yes, a big yes, if you have all of them. Come on, guys, make sure you type in for me, otherwise I'll just keep on waiting. <laughs> I see the same 10 of you typing in. <laughs> Where's everyone else? Cool. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so we're going to push ourselves. One of the things that happen that cause self-sabotage is we only aim for our desired goal. We only aim for the desired goal. We don't go for the goal after that. Make sense? And so what happens as soon as we start getting close to it, we sabotage it. So I want to ask you, Having achieved that desired goal, having achieved that desired goal, what's next? Write in what's next in future number one or box number six. And then lastly, having achieved that, what's your legacy going to be? Put it in box number seven. So I'm going to give you two minutes to have this all finished. I want you to have all seven boxes filled out with at least the outcome in every single box. And if you want also to have the feelings and the beliefs. I need a yes from everyone when this is done. So please, if you haven't typed in a yes for any others, I need this. I'm not starting until I've got a yes from all 17 of you. You need one in all of these. Thank you. I can see some yeses coming in. Awesome. Anyone struggling? Let me know if you're struggling. If you're struggling, you want to close your eyes and you say, if I achieve this, what would I be focused on next? Thank you. Thanks for typing in. Still waiting on about six of you. Not that it's a race and it's, we still want to know. Awesome. <sighs> Waiting on three of you now. Nicole, Rani, Helena. I'm waiting on you three. If you're on a phone, you can't type, put the hand up thing. Cool. Thanks, Helena. Got it. Cool, got it, got it. All right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be closing our eyes and we're going to be embedding each step one at a time, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you feel into your past, experience it, and then we're going to let it go and you're going to step into the next one, experience it, let it go, step into the next one, experience it, let it go, step into the next one, okay? And we're going to create a chain. Now, if you have to open your eyes, look at your sheet, and then go back into it, that's okay. But as long as you go into it, we'll go through multiple times 
until it's crystal clear in your head. Cool. So go ahead and close your eyes and step into your current reality. Number two, where are you now in life? How does it feel and what do you believe? Feel it. How does it feel to be here? Beautiful. Now take a step back in life to your past. Where were you? What was it like? How did it feel? And what did you believe about life? Notice how it was like back here. Now let's leave that behind and step back into the present day. And as you step into the present day, I want you to thank the person behind you, the person in your past. As you're here in the present day, what's your big goal? How does it feel to be here? How does it feel to be in this present reality? And as you think about your big goal, I just want you to accept and feel how good it feels to be here right now. And remember, you can open your eyes anytime to get the next step. So step forward into the first step towards your desired goal. Let the present day behind and just feel it. How does it feel to be one step towards your desired reality? Looking back at the present state and thanking the current reality, looking back at your past and thanking your past. Noticing there's one more step to go before the goal you're aiming for. Take that next step. Step into your second step towards your goal. How does it feel? Thank all the versions of you behind you up until now. Send them gratitude. And now step into that goal that you set way back in the current reality. Do it right now. Step forward in your mind and step into that goal and take a big breath. How does it feel to have this goal now? Knowing the steps you had to take to get here. Look back across time and space and send appreciation to all the versions of you that had to get you here. Thank them. and really feel what it's like to be this person now. What is life like now that you're this person, you've achieved this, you have this? How does it feel? 
Feel it. And as you hear, notice your life's not over. There's more to do. What's your next goal? It's big, isn't it? When you're ready, go ahead and step forward into your next goal. And as you step forward into it, notice, notice that that desired goal was really just a stepping stone. Notice all the steps you had to take to get here and appreciate the journey. And really feel it. Really feel, if you can, what's it like to be this person? Way out here. It's interesting, isn't it, that there's still more to do. There's a legacy to create. So go ahead and step into that legacy, the last step. That's it. What's it like to have achieved this legacy? What's it like to be out here? As you look back at all the things you achieved and all you, you did, can't you feel gratitude? Doesn't it feel good? So let's go all the way back in time, right back to the past. Step into your past self. Notice what it's like back here. Where were you? What were you doing? How did it feel? And now step forward into your current reality and appreciate the past. As you're here, you'll notice that your desired goal is a few steps ahead. You also can see those steps. So take the first step. If you need to open your eyes and see it, look, then close your eyes, get straight back into it. Take the first step. As you take the first step, it feels good, doesn't it? So feel that. You're still one step away from your desired goal. So take that next step towards your goal. Take it now and step right into that second step away from your current reality towards your desired goal. Feel what it's like to be just one step away from your goal. How does that feel? What's life like now? You're just one step away from what it is that you dream to have. So let's step forward into that reality now. Step forward into that desired goal that you've been aiming for and really feel it. Can you feel it? Can you really feel your desired goal? Go ahead and feel it in every part of your body. Send appreciation, love, gratitude, and thanks to all the past versions of you that got you here. Really feel it. Doesn't it feel good to finally hit this goal? And now notice there's another goal on the horizon. Step forward into that. How does that feel? Wow. It's so much bigger than you ever thought possible. Notice how small your desired goal feels now compared to this. Really feel it, looking at all the steps it took you to get here. And last and finally, step forward into your legacy. Step right into that last one. 
doing what matters most to you. Say thanks to the future self that got you here. Say thanks to the person who got you to the desired goal. Say thanks to taking that second step. Say thanks to taking that first step. Say thanks to the current reality and say a big thank you to your past. Notice all the things, all the people you had to be to get here, but it was all worth it. You designed it. And as you're here, notice you know the path you need to take. You know the actions you need to do, no matter how scary they are, they're the actions you need to do, they're yours. You decided them. No one else decided these actions. You did. And so now you can step like a skipping stone, step by step, like hopscotch. Easily you can dance from that current reality to here. Doesn't it feel good to know that? When you, when you know that it's done and you feel good, you can open your eyes, come back to reality with a new feeling in your heart, and you can type in, let me know how it was. How was that, guys? Felt really good to me. I've got all mine written down here. I was doing them. Felt really good. Was really good to feel it, believe it, and then be it. Very nice. Amazing and empowering. What if you did this every day? What would life be like if you gave your brain this level of clarity? If you trained your body that this is your future, what would life be like if you trained your body this way? Michelle, it's exactly what I do. It's exactly my process. How long do you think it took us? 20 minutes. Most of it was planning it, wasn't it? It was a big one, wasn't it? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Last week, I set the instruction um, for you guys to really do this process on meditation. And I can watch which ones you guys watch. And not enough of you did this. So I actually spent this week, I wanted to spend some time saying, do the magnetic alignment process. It will. It will serve you a lot. So this week, I'd like you to double down on this meditation again. I'd like you to use the stuff that we did here. As an additional meditation for this week, I'd like you to do quantum jumping. Quantum jumping, it's in the extra meditation resources, but I'd like you to do this one, magnetic alignment. It's in week one of the, the nine, the core meditations. Guys, I'm so passionate about what we talk about in here. I'm so passionate about your results and I'm passionate about helping you create and make success. And that's what this call is more than anything else. It's a reminder each week to do the processes that work because if you do them, you'll get the results. And if you don't, you'll have to figure out a time to start doing them because this is what's needed to make the change. Do we have to do the meditation week by week? We can do any ones you want. The more of those meditations you do, guys, the better. I'm just giving you recommendations because people always ask me, which ones should I focus on? I say, well, these ones are nice to start with. So do the ones that I'm sort of recommending. But, you know, the more you can't meditate for 20 minutes and then expect it to last for 23 and a half hours. When you be it, you will see it. And as you're becoming it, you got to do some more work, right? You have to overcome 20, 30, or 40 years of your own programming. Is it true? Is it true? You have to overcome 20, 30, 40 years of your old patterning. 
it's, it, you know, a half hour a day is a, just a start, right? It's enough. But if we want to go faster, you're going to do more. You're going to try to live your whole day in a new vibration. Who knows that's true, by the way? Who knows it's true? Easier said than done, isn't it? But I know it to be true. And then I also know as you're making the biggest shifts, your brain's going to fight the most. <laughs> your brain's going to fight the most. I want everyone to hear this because you're asking questions that, that, that show me that you don't quite get this. The more you get into the feeling of your end result and stay there, the more you're in your magnetic point. Nice. Good. I want to make sure. I want to make sure. Um, what's Michelle was asked a question. Oh yeah, you can do it. In, you can do it in sequence. Of course, you can do it any way you like. Yeah, good question. You can. Yeah, the more, the better. You know, get into that feeling. Some of you might just take five minutes and you're in it, and then you're good for the rest of the day. You know, but it's not normal. Most people got to work a little bit because most of us have spent most of our life thinking that right now isn't good enough and we have to get somewhere else. And, you know, I can't feel happy unless my bank account's different or unless I've got the right husband or the right ring on my finger or the, the right body or the right car or the right job title or the happiest kids or the more degrees. We've always been, we've been set up to wait to feel good. But it, we don't, when it shit changes, we don't change. We just arrive there and go, oh, well, great. I didn't have it. And so you've got to change now. You change first, then it shows up. 